my very late August TBR. I have been busy outside of booktube lately, so I haven't had time to film separate videos for what I've read in July and my August TBR. So I decided to combine the two. Originally I was going to read The Dog That Saved Stuart Coolidge for July, but I did not get around to it, so I will be reading this in September. Because I was kindly asked by Joshua Hershey, who is an independent author, to read his book, Linden Falls, which is a fantasy novel. I did a separate review on that, so I leave a link down in the description box below or some appear for you all to watch. Also, I enjoyed Alice in Adventures in Wonderland and other stories by Lewis Carroll. Now, I gave this five stars because I thought it was very cute. For Sue Jackson's Big Book Summer Challenge, I read Firefly Lane by Kristen Hanna, and I also read this for my book club on my Discord server, Just Book Girls Book Club. This gets a five star win because it's about Tolly Hart and Kate Malarkey, who grew up in Seattle in the 1970s, and they have been best friends for over 30 years. Now, this is very heartwarming, but it's also very sad. And I also really love the TV show based on this book, too. And also, Joanna Hershon wrote a book called Swimming, which is about three people. Susanna uh, and these two brothers, Aaron and Jack, and one of the brothers uh, turns up dead. Now, I give this one star. I'm in the middle of it. I think it's going really too slow. And I, I don't know, just something about it I don't like about the book. Now for my August picks. I am looking forward to reading for my Discord server, Frederick Backman's And Every Morning the Way Home Gets Longer and Longer, which is about Noah and his grandpa who is sitting on a bench. The grandpa is reminiscing about old times. And I guess it's going to be very sad because the grandpa is getting older. The classic, Virginia Woolf's Mrs. Dalloway. Idaho, which is about Anne and Wade who live in Idaho. Wade's mind is fading and Anne wants to investigate what happened with Wade's first marriage to his wife Jenny and his daughters. Now this should be very interesting to read because it's told from different perspectives and I like stories like that. Janet Ivanovich's Explosive 18, which is in the Stephanie Plum series. Stephanie had a nightmare vacation and she's heading back to New Jersey, but there's a layover in LA and her seatmate has disappeared and is found dead in a garbage can. Now this is very strange. And last, get creative over 60 exercises, activities, and prompts to stimulate your imagination by Lisa Dyer. Now I'm looking forward to getting back into writing and I'm hoping that this will help me by getting me motivated to write again. So I hope you all like this video and enjoy whatever you're reading. Bye bookworms.